In this video, I'm going to give a quick demonstration of the Music Studio SID ripping functionality. So starting from a new Music Studio window, I first open a new Music Studio file, so it's nice and blank and there's nothing in here. Play the music and there's nothing here audible at all. I then go back to the file menu expand the menu down at the bottom, and then the RIP SID option is visible. If I choose a SID to RIP, I'm going to choose uh, Whisper, because I rather like a piece of music. So I've already got it here, and when I open this file, the game over music will be audible, and there will be a box saying uh, press OK to stop ripping the SID, which I will do after the music finishes. So, I just clicked the OK button on the box, and the Music Studio has populated what looks like some music data. I'm going to go into Track Editor mode because it's easier to see what's happening here. So if I initially play the music, we get something, but it's not quite right. Uh, that's because, obviously, when you're ripping music from a SID, it's not going to be exact or precise. Um, it's just a way of really getting at the notes uh, if you wanted to, and potentially some of the waveforms and wavetables and stuff like that, but basically it's by getting notes. When it captures this, what it hasn't done is that it hasn't added a hard restart, restart disable. So we'll add that at the beginning of the three blocks for each of the voices. You can see track one uses block zero, track two uses block one, track three uses block two. So if you play the music now, oh, and this is track zero, track one, and track two corresponding. So if we play the music, It's pretty much there already. Um, the end of the music wasn't quite right, so what we can do is that we can go to track three, uh, block three, four, and five. So I'm going to go to block three, block four, block five, and let's just scroll down to see what's going on at the bottom of the music. And the bottom of the music, yeah, it's not quite right. So uh, we've got some extra stuff here that we don't really want. So what we can do is that we can just delete this and delete this. And likewise, I expect there will be similar corrupt notes at the bottom. It's, it's just a matter of what it, it captured. Yep, there we go. Same kind of notes. We'll just get rid of these two here um, and right down at the bottom here. I expect to see the similar kind of thing. There we go, so we'll get rid of that. Get rid of that. Um, we can see that it's created actually two instruments. Uh, they kind of look exactly the same, um, apart from it's using uh, different entries in the pulse table. Interesting, it's captured two different pulse widths, um, but one wave table. That's expected because it's actually using this voice. Yeah, okay, that's fine. So anyway, and there we go. Uh, it's basically captured the Whizball game over music. That's the end of the demonstration.